Just exactly what does it mean to kick off your year at a huge event such as the Rolex Series here at the Abu Dhabi HSBC Championship? And what can it do for your season if you win the thing? Today we're going to talk to some of the biggest players in the game and we're going to find out just that. Let's do it and let's do it now. Hi everyone, James Robinson here. If you're new to the channel and this is your very first time watching my content, first of all, I'd like to warmly welcome you to the channel. Second of all, guys, if you are new here, please don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button below. Make sure you like this video if you do enjoy this type of content. And as always, guys, I want you to comment below. In this video, I want you to comment below what is the biggest golf event you've played in. Today, guys, we are here at the Abu Dhabi HSB Championships, courtesy of Troon. And my MO is to track down some of the biggest names in the game and find out exactly what it means to play this event, to win this event, and what it can do for your season. So without any further ado, we better go find them, hadn't we? Where will they be? Tommy, Shane. So guys, we are lucky enough to be joined here by Bryson DeChambeau. Bryson, thank you ever so much for your time, mate. Really oh, appreciate man, it. You. Bryson, you must enjoy it out here in the UAE. You've had quite a lot of success out here. You keep coming back. What is it about the UAE that keeps you coming back, mate? People yeah. are absolutely incredible. And um, for me, I, I love dry weather um, and places that uh, you can get the ball to go pretty far. Absolutely, I saw you in the range, mate. You crushed it. So I am. Must be, you must be in for a good uh, week. I've changed. <laughs> <laughs> you have, mate, yeah. Regards to the tournament here at Abu Dhabi, what's yes. it like having such a big tournament so early on in the season? Do, do, you, do you prepare differently for that, or is it, is it just a case well, of. Well, every week I'm preparing to go win, you yes. know, and so it's not like it's going to be any different, but I will say that it's nice to have a big tournament like this at the beginning of the season, and it, it always kind of makes me try and be on top of my game when I come here. Absolutely. Bryson, thank you much so much for your time. Thank you. Really yep, appreciate it. Week, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. So guys, there were the wise words of Bryson DeChambeau. Always prepares to win and very much enjoys having such a big tournament earlier in the season. Let's see who else we can track down. So guys, lucky enough, we have just caught up with Jamie Donaldson, Ryder Cup star. <laughs> We have just caught up with Jamie Donaldson, Ryder Cup star and past Abu Dhabi Championship winner. Jamie, what's it like winning here, mate? Um, yeah, very special, very difficult to win round here. It's a tough golf course, still don't know how I actually did win round here. Um, yeah, it's just one of them, you've just got to keep it in play and hit fairways and uh, yeah, make some putts. It's just a difficult golf course. It's one of them that, um, you know, takes no prisoners. You can't fluke it round. You, you've got to just play really good and, uh, you know, that's and what I did. How would you so. say it helps propel your season? Would you say it kind of boosts your season? Oh yeah, if yeah. you... If you win anyone that wins here, or any any one of the first, say, three or four events is set up for a great year, aren't you? Because you've won early on, and and it's it makes massively important to uh, to you know what makes up generally a great year after that. Absolutely, Abu Dhabi is a place you're a big fan. Do you like to come in see some of the sights? Yeah, it's mega. Yeah, yeah, it's really good. You know, I mean, just looking at the clubhouse here, it's incredible, isn't it? One of the best clubhouses on the tour. Yeah, one of the, yeah, amazing. Jamie, yeah, we'll leave you two playing for just mate. Thank All you right, so mate. Much what do you mean I need it? Have a good week. Cheers, Still on the putting green, and we have just bumped into none other than Robert Rock. Robert, how are we doing? All right, thanks. Good. So, Robert, you famously took down Tiger here to win the Abu Dhabi Championships. First of all, mate, what was that like? <laughs> it's pretty cool, isn't it? I mean, it's nice to look back at something that's a lot, good long time ago now. Right? Yeah. It's seven years ago, and it's the last time I played well, so <laughs> just try and remember it. Okay, and so winning here, what is it like as a did you find that it helped you boost your season? Did you find that it No, it ruined my career. It ruined your <laughs> <laughs> Okay, mate, well, uh, apart from that, Abu Dhabi is a place, you're a big fan, it's somewhere you'd like to... I'd played rubbish here until that week. I think yeah. my best finish was 40-something. Yeah. I, I remember shooting 800 and finishing 40 and thought, it's not for me, this track. Yeah, yeah. So, I probably approached it with, well, not expecting anything. I yeah. remember playing the week before in South Africa and Having a top 10, knowing that I was playing all right, and thinking, well, we'll get through Abu Dhabi and play. I really like, enjoyed playing Dubai, yeah, right? Yeah. So I'd had some good results there and thought that might be my, be my venue because yeah. I'm playing playing good. Yeah. So I, I spent most of the week, that week, I didn't practice, then I practice round. Um, I think a lot of people can probably relate to that home as well. People are playing Medal Stableford, don't expect too much. Well, it's amazing. just a long course, right? It's a hard course. Yeah. Um, 
but in years prior to that, Martin Kamer had been shooting 24 under around it. Yeah. I just didn't see it. Yeah. I, I thought, I said, eight under was a good, my best, previous best score, yeah, which yeah. is miles off. So I had no right to think I'd do any good, but that particular year, the course was set up a little bit more difficult. The greens were firm, uh, and it brought scoring down to something that I could get closer to. Absolutely. Robert, thank you so much for your time. Yeah, you're welcome. This week, so have a great one. Cheers, so guys, there you have it. We've been lucky enough there to catch up with two Abu Dhabi Championship winners and some very, very cool words there from both Robert Rock and Jamie Donaldson. Who else can we track down? Who else can we find and find out exactly how much this championship means to them and potentially, again, what it's like to win it? We are lucky enough here to catch up with Robert Carson. Robert, how are you? Very good. Good man, good man. Robert, multiple winner on tour, I think it's fair to say, double figures even. Mm -hmm. The Abu Dhabi Championship, Robert, could you tell us exactly what it means to you, what you enjoy about it, why do you keep going back? It's always fantastic to come and play in the Middle East. We can pretty much guarantee the weather, maybe not so much this week. Yeah. So actually last week I was here practicing, but it's a great golf course, it's always in good condition. And there's a run of events, we get three in a row with a good practice facilities, good weather, good courses, so it's just a very, very good way of starting the season. Fantastic. And do you enjoy Abu Dhabi as a place? Do you like to, is there anything you particularly like to visit when you're here? Or? Well, unfortunately, golfers don't see much. We see the hotel and we see the golf course and yeah. that's about it. But, uh, well, I mean, obviously they have the world's biggest mosque, I think, and it's just across from the hotel, but I've actually never been. Oh, okay. Shame good on me. Good. Uh, good. Uh, uh, Robert, I'm going to leave you to your uh, practice. Thank you so much for your time. Really Thank appreciate you. it. Have a great week. Thank you. Thank you. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm getting a big feeling here that the way the golf course plays the week of the tournament has a huge say in who wins, just like any tournament. So this week it's been wet, it's been windy. The golf course should be playing fairly easy easy fairly simple it should be playing as simple as it will be because the greens will be receptive they'll be soft whereas just like Robert Rock said when he won the event the greens were playing quite hard it was firm the golf course was bouncy and difficult that suited him quite well it obviously played very well and from there went on to win now luckily enough I will be playing this golf course on Monday in the media day in the sponsors day should I hope for rain over the weekend maybe We'll see. And you see guys, one big thing that I'm getting from this week, although it's early on in the season, although some people may see it as a warm-up, it's that early in the season, these guys don't see it that way. These guys want to win this event, these guys want to compete and want to take home the Abu Dhabi Championships. Guys, huge thank you for True International for getting us out here. Huge thank you to everyone at Abu Dhabi Golf Club. You should be so proud of what you're doing here, what a fantastic event this is and what a fantastic event it's going to be. Guys, if you are new here, make sure you do consider hitting that subscribe button below. Leave us a like if you enjoyed that content and as always guys, I'll see you tomorrow.